Welcome to the second of my three-part Zanzibar vlog. In this vlog, we are staying at the Opera Hotel in Nungi, which is more on the northern side of Zanzibar. They have beautiful crystal clear blue water beaches in this area, so I was quite excited to see that. Upon arriving, we were welcomed with these passion fruit mango welcome drinks, delicious. The lobby deco was what I would call minimalistic, but um, still cute. As you can see, the colors are quite neutral toned, but they all fit together quite well. After checking in, I made my way up to the room and I was met with this a lovely surprise courtesy of the Opera Hotel. This was so cute and I really did appreciate this as it was our honeymoon trip. The room is cute, once again, very minimalistic. No TV, no carpet, no robes, no room slippers, despite the floor being cold tiles and getting sandy quite easily. There was also no amenities other than body wash and shampoo in the room. In this hotel, you will have to pay $3 if you need toothpaste and extra if you need a toothbrush. This is the swimming pool behind my room and this is the view from my room. Here we have the lovely pool area. The pool area is very calm, serene, and also very large. We love that. There are quite a bit of chairs and a couple cabanas. The pool water is also salt and not chlorine, which is better for your health. Here we have the social area where you can sit down, eat, read books. You can also have shisha here. However, the shisha is not very great. There are only two flavors and they don't take care of you when they sell you the shisha. Like you have to beg them to come and maintain that shisha, unfortunately. Here we have the dining area. There is only one dining area in this hotel. Um, there's the upstairs and downstairs. This is the upstairs. As beautiful as this hotel is, we did experience some issues here, which I will get into now. Problems began for me when I was told I could only have two eggs for breakfast as I prefer to follow a low sugar lifestyle. Therefore, I tend to eat more protein, less vegetables and less processed foods like breads, cakes, muffins and things of that sort. So being told that I can only have two eggs when I didn't really eat much of the other things offered did take away from my positive experience. But the eggs were good though and the fruits in Zanzibar are definitely some of the best tasting fruits I have ever come across. The first activity that we did was the turtle sanctuary or aquarium. It's called Barakat Natural Aquarium. That's the name. And it was such a lovely experience. Honestly, if you can do this, I would recommend it. There were so many turtles. We got to feed them, swim with them, and take pictures with them. And they were all so nice for the most part until until unfortunately I, I got bit. <laughs> I did get bit as you're about to see here. The culprit, he just bit me out of nowhere. The travel guides will tell you that the turtles don't bite, but that they can, but that's a bold faced lie. They simply bite. Everyone got bit. Nonetheless, it was a lovely experience. Look at him, he's about to bite me. Yep. <laughs> I got bit by a turtle. So let's talk about the food for a moment. The food service was another problem due to the timings um, that the kitchen was open. This was pretty much a problem for most of the guests. Everyone was complaining that they were hungry between these timings. So this is what I had, a parmigiana, which was an eggplant lasagna, and uh, also the escalop beef, which is floured, marinated beef sauteed in butter. And those two dishes were delicious, which is why we got the same thing on the second day, as well as the bruschetta. The Parmigiano looked much less burnt on the second day. The food here was fantastic. Although options were limited, the dinner tasted great to me. We were happy with our food and the fresh juice was perfect, not too sweet. And then we just ended the night and finished it up with some shisha. On the next day, we had a nice sunset cruise. It was an all day boat cruise uh, that was scheduled, although that's not exactly what happened. The trip was cut short because people in my group booked this excursion knowing that they couldn't swim and that they don't like water. So they complained the entire time and the trip was cut short. On the other hand, I had as much fun as I could. The boat was set up so cute and cozy and the scenery on the way to the first island was breathtaking. I love water, I love being in the ocean, I love swimming. So this was all very fun, peaceful, and exciting for me. The water is so blue. 
look at that. It's like heaven for me. I really, really enjoyed myself. As you can see, I was really enjoying the water. I floated for as long as I was allowed to, saw so many different fishes and sea barnacles, and it was just beautiful. The first snack offered on the cruise was fresh, juicy watermelon. And we ate that while they prepared the barbecue. Um, I realized that they were only cooking things that I was allergic to, like shellfish. So I told them my concerns and they made a separate sauce for me to eat with the sides. And I still jumped back in the water for as long as I could and swam as much as I could and loved it. I loved being surrounded by so much beauty and crystal clean, clear water. After that, we had a lunch break and headed back to the hotel. I was tired, I slept, but when I woke up, this is what I woke up to. Bites all over my legs. Prior to the boat trip, I actually felt these bites, but I couldn't see them because when I jumped in the water, all the areas where you see the bites felt itchy upon jumping in the water. But it wasn't until the next day that they started to swell and turn red. And that's when I realized that I had been attacked by bed bugs. Okay, so it is our last day at the Opera Hotel. And um, we're just having breakfast, 9 a.m. 12 past 9 to be correct and um, yeah we've already packed up all our things and we're pretty much ready to check out like I said we're just having breakfast we did have an unfortunate situation happen last night which I just want to share with you guys um, I woke up this morning feeling really itchy like I got bit everywhere so I turned to my husband and I'm like babe I think I got attacked by mosquitoes last night I didn't even know there was mosquitoes in this room. Like I hadn't see, seen any, you know, but I just feel itchy everywhere. And he goes, yeah, I woke up and there was a cockroach on my leg. And I was like, I thought he was joking, you know, because there, there was no, I didn't see any cockroaches in the room, especially not in, in a bed, you know? So I, I start to inspect my bites. And guys, long story short, it was not mosquito bites. And that was not a cockroach on his leg. It was a bed bug and the room has a bed bug problem. So now I've got clusters of bites in multiple regions of my body and I'm just feeling super uncomfortable, super itchy and, and very, um, very disappointed. Um, that really just kind of put a wrench in my, I don't know, my mood, I guess. You know what I mean? Because I'm just so itchy right now. Like my body is just so itchy and I'm gonna have to, when I get home, leave my suitcases outside to prevent my home from getting infested and wash all my things in hot water and dry them in an extra high heat and it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot. I will speak to management about this and you know, give them the opportunity to, you know, let me know what they intend on doing with this issue and um, also, since I'm reviewing the hotel, I just think it's only fair that I let them know um, what I've found and give them the opportunities, you know, give them, leave them space for correction, I guess. But um, that's how my morning has been going today in Zanzibar and um, yeah, I'm really bummed out. I'm just, yeah.